Today's video isn't going to show you how to magically find an M60 on day 1. If you want high level loot, I'd recommend watching my video on how to get the best loot in 7 days to die. This video is less about armour and weapons and more about the things that are hard to find in the early game but you'll need a lot of, like medicine, iron and engines. Most of the POIs, which stands for point of interest by the way, I'll be using that word a lot today, are meant to be great POIs to loot as a new player in the first week of the game. All that said, I doubt anyone clicked on the video for me to just tell them that they should loot the shotgun messiah factory, but with that out of the way let's get straight into my top 5 locations for new players to loot in the first week in 7 days to die. Number 5 is Bart's Salvage, or as it's otherwise known, the Bomb Shelter. This POI has an engine just sitting in the front door. These engines are a guaranteed engine drop if you scrap it with a wrench. This POI is relatively safe and has a few zombies guarding it, but once you clear it out, you'll have access to a few higher level end of dungeon loot sources like the locked chest and the gun safe. Just be sure to bring some lockpicks. The main reason this is on the list is that easy engine and the fact that you can make a fantastic base out of this POI as well. With a formidable underground bunker, as well as reasonably strong walls on the surface, I'd highly recommend this place as a starter base for new players. Number 4 is a very simple POI with two very useful items you will want in the early game. If you come into the garage, you will find an engine. Just be careful of the dog that can spawn here. You'll also find a guaranteed pass and gas container which is useful for repair kits, engines or batteries. On the roof you may be faced with some vultures, so be careful. When you drop down into the kitchen you'll find yet another engine you can scrap, so this POI has a guarantee of at least two engines. You'll also find two workbenches and a chemistry bench, which have a chance to spawn the respective schematics. In the final loot room you will find a working stiff tools crate and another passing gas crate along with a reinforced chest and ammo pile. Overall, this small PY is very lucrative, having the potential of up to 4 engines in the first week. If you don't know what engines are needed for because you're new to the game, you'll need them for a mini bike and cement mixers, as well as powering generators later in the game. The mini bike and the cement mixer are two things that are extremely helpful in the first week. Also, this PY is fairly safe, having a maximum of 7 low level zombies although you may have to worry about the zombie dog in the garage. But knowing it's there is half the battle, also remember that the vultures can spawn on the roof. I usually find two up there, but again, knowing they're there makes it much easier to not die to them. Number 3 is a risky one to take in the first week, but it can give you a lot of the best loot available to you as well as a lot of XP. Navisgain High School is a high level POI not to be taken lightly. But as far as high level POIs go with hardened chests at the end, Navisgain High School is the easiest in my opinion. You can find a lot of zombies in here but you also have a lot of opportunities to escape, shut doors and otherwise pick your fights, which can be great for surviving and getting lots of XP. You'll also find a lot of bookshelves and medical equipment in here. You can even find yet another engine in one of the classrooms. At the end you'll find two guaranteed crack -a book crates and one random crate as well as an ammo bag and a hardened chest. Now this POI is not to be taken lightly as I said, you'll probably want to bring a gun because of the guaranteed football players who can run during the day. POI also has the ability to spawn zombies you normally wouldn't see at your game stage so you may find a few spider zombies and soldiers. And when you go into the main loot room remember to look up because zombies can spawn on the rafters. I'd recommend coming here once you have a pile of lockpicks to get into the hardened chest and some kind of gun. Even just a level 1 pistol will get you through the harder parts of this POI. Overall, as high tier POIs go, this is by far the easiest. As it isn't a 5 story building with landmines, traps and zombies all over it, it's just a big POI with a few slightly harder zombies thrown in, and better loot than average. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this POI for straight up fresh spawn players, but if you can bring a gun and keep your wits about you, it really is easy loot. At number 2 I actually have a very easy but profitable POI, the smaller version of the pharmacy. In here you'll want to loot the pill cases, the shelves and the pop and pills crates. 
There's only a few zombies to worry about, mainly on the roof, but by the end you'll have a great little stash of healing items. This is a fantastic place to loot on day one to get a starting supply of basic medicines. Before we get into the last POI on this list, I'm just jumping in to say that if you're enjoying today's video, be so kind as to leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. Also, for my regular subscribers, how would you guys feel about me playing Valheim on this channel? Comment down below. And then at number one, we have a POI I don't think anyone was expecting, but bear with me. We have the larger variant of the Working Stiff Tools Store. This POI is another harder one with a few zombies to deal with. This POI in particular has a lot of zombies that fall from the ceiling, but if you can clear it and search every one of these shelves, you'll easily get dozens of tools like wrenches, hammers and wiring tools. Now that's all well and good, but what if you don't need 9 wiring tools? Well that's where scrapping or smelting comes in. The wiring tools, wrenches and hammers can all be smelted or scrapped for high amounts of iron. And on average, by the end of this POI, you can have an easy 2000 iron, which if you can get on day 2 or 3, you'll be set for all the forged iron you'll need in the first week, to make a full set of iron tools or weapons, base reinforcements or vehicle parts. This is much better than smacking away at iron ore deposits with a stone or iron pickaxe, but that's not all, you'll also get a lot of weapon and tool parts which you won't actually be able to use at your current stage in the game anyway, so I prefer to sell them to the trader in exchange for crafting materials or weapons, but you can keep them if you want to save them for later. When you're looting this place, remember to look up and watch out for the dog that spawns on the roof. If you could loot all of these locations in the first week, I'm confident we'd have an extremely strong start to 7 days to die. Now I'm sure someone in the comments will mention that I didn't include X, Y or Z location, but just remember that this list was built around giving new players everything they will want or need in the first week. Hopefully this saves new players from trying to take down Higashi Tower on day 3 because of some YouTube video, or spending the entire first week looting generic houses and only getting food. If you enjoyed today's list, leave a like, and if you want to see more 7 days to die lists, tutorials and guides, then smash that subscribe button. If you have any great POIs for new players that I missed, of course leave them in the comments, and remember and comment if you want to see Valheim on this channel, it's the only way I can gauge response for that before I do it. But with that guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.